Here are the tests on my 1984 Kohler Cayuga. I have it set to the water line and it's on a universal flapper that probably is similar enough to the original for the test to be accurate. And I have it on this fill valve that usually fills fast except it's filling a swimming pool instead of a normal tank, so it is actually pretty slow. But let's give it a flush and see how it does on the tests. very long. Considering the amount of water this uses, it better ace every one of these tests. I'm going to add some water to this bowl here. And I'm going to pause the video and wait for the tank to fill up. Now let's do a washcloth test. I'm pretty sure it's going to pass this. I'll be disappointed if it doesn't. Did perfectly. Now I'm going to add some water to the bowl again, and then try a grocery bag. This tank takes so long to fill up, probably about a minute. So now let's try a bag. And a minute doesn't seem that long, but when you're waiting for a tank to fill up, it is pretty long. So now let's wait for the tank to fill up, then see how it does on a bag. The tank is just about full, so let's see how it does on a grocery bag. Once again, I'm expecting it to pass. It did either awesome or perfect. I'll let you decide. So let's add some water to the bowl again and then try them both together. One thing I didn't mention in my original video of this is that the back nut is actually just a square. If you look at that, it's just a square. I don't know how well you can see it because I'm sort of bent over and I can't see the screen. So if you could see that, it's pretty interesting. I'm sure BTR Plumbing will give you a better view of it when he shows it to you. But for now, this is what I have. So I'll be right back when the tank is done filling tank is done filling, so now let's see how it does on a washcloth and a grocery bag. struggling pass. Let's add some water to the bowl and then try a dish towel.
I'm gonna wait for the tank to fill up and then I'll stick the dish towel in and see if it'll pass. The tank is almost full, so now let's see if it can take a dish towel. I'm expecting it'll pass. Struggling pass, I think. So now let's add some water to the bowl again and see if it can take dirt. This is the test I've been waiting for. And there's no bin I have that can hold this much water, so I'll just have to clean the dirt off the patio. Not really that big of a deal anyway. So now when the tank is finished filling, let's see if it'll take dirt. The tank is almost full. Now let's see how it does on a dirt test. It better pass this. Bull rinse could use some work, that's for sure. But it did really, really well getting it out of the bowl. I'm very impressed with this toilet right now. My opinion of these is starting to change. Now that I look back, it actually left a rock or something. Don't know what that is, but you can't really expect a toilet to flush rocks, so I don't blame it for that. Honestly, this is a lot better than I thought it would be. I'm impressed. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Honestly, this thing is like the sloth of toilets. It does its job just fine, but it's really, really slow about it.